So this is not done, but this is going to be the finished look, kind of, almost. What's left is actually connecting the new third battery, which is tucked discreetly back here. Installing this uh, brake or tail light. But I'm also, the reason I kind of have that chomped apart, so I'm gonna do it like that and mount a brake light here. So I have a brake light and tail light separate. Uh, I am putting a windshield on it. So I'll have some aerodynamics, which should help. And I am fattening up the tires. So this is a mountain biking tire with terrible rolling resistance and it's tough to see, but basically the uh, the treads are not energy efficient. Um, this is a 1.9, I believe. And I'm gonna go to a 2.2, but with a road tread uh, and armored. And then um, this is like a 1.6, and this is a road tread. Uh, but I'm going to up it to a 2.2 anyway. So I'm going to have two road tires instead of one road tire, one dirt bike tire or off-road tire. And uh, I'm going to fatten them up a little bit. Like I mentioned, I'm getting a new controller. This isn't the one that I was having problems with before. This is a different one. I'm actually not having a problem with the controller. The controller's fine. It's the freaking throttle and the the control wires um, that are the problem. So I want a waterproof throttle. And because I don't trust buying a throttle anymore, I bought a throttle controller combination as a package. So I know they'll fit together. Um, it's actually a higher... Uh, voltage and amperage rating uh, it's for a 2000 watt motor and that one only runs a 1000 uh, and I have a three-way switch or not three-way switch the three speed switch to install I'm not doing regenerative braking I changed my mind on that but I do like the idea of knocking my thousand watt down 80% so it could more match the speed or uh, capability of my rear wheel. So I can use my throttle and my pedal assist in conjunction, which I actually like to do. Um, but I, I have trouble finding that sweet spot in the throttle where the front one doesn't just completely take over. Uh, I like the seat look with it being higher. And uh, yeah, that's... I. It's pretty much perfect. The rear is maybe a half inch higher than I want it, but it's a good look. This thing is, it doesn't look good opened up on that side, but this thing is a beast. I am very happy with it. It is a big, heavy bicycle that now has 2.1 kilowatt hours 2.1 kilowatts of power storage on board and 1500 uh, watts of drive power so it's perfect for me for what i'm trying to do and i'm i'm really having fun with this as a hobby it's uh i'm exhausted working till one o'clock in the morning on this thing last night and then i got home from work today and I, I don't know what time it is. I have to eat dinner, but this thing is just fun to work on. I, I get a part, put it on, make an adjustment, watch a video, find out about improvements, and continue to upgrade the bike. Although at this point, it's overkill. The, the fat tires uh, are, I think, the end of, of putting money into this thing. I'm officially up to about $2,500, uh, including the tires and the 
battery splicing component which hasn't come yet and isn't going to come for a month so i'm not going to be having that battery in there it's just in there kind of testing the rack um but yeah it's it's a fun hobby man it's kind of like uh new and it's just different it's different it's not it's it's not um It's tough to explain. It's not like an obsession, but it's definitely like something that I really enjoy working on um, and could imagine working on it every day. But it's my bike and I'm sure that's why if I was working on other people's bikes, I probably would be um, just like, that's all wrinkled. Yeah, it's all wrinkled because it's open on the other side. But um, yeah, I like the look of it, you know filled in in the middle and I think when it has a windshield put on which was supposed to be here today it will be here in like two days um it'll look pretty pretty beefy for a bicycle pretty beefy for a bicycle I think that's gonna be her name it's pretty beefy for a bicycle